Uh, Court is calling 2022 CR 10402 State of Texas versus Alicia Small. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel Escobar for the state of Texas. Defense. Are you Ms. Small? Ms. Small, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Did you understand you're charged with evading arrest detention with a vehicle? That's a third degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea bargain agreement. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand, Mr. Simmons? Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state will call in the right to remain silent? Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could find you guilty and sentence you up to 10 years in the prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? In my opinion, she does, Your Honor. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? I do, Your Honor. Ms. Small, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? Mm -hmm. Has anyone promised you anything other than the plea? Mm -hmm. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, sir. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, the court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? According to the plea bargain agreement, there's a $1,000 fine probated, and the state recommends deferred adjudication. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense, is that the plea? Yes, Your Honor. State, is that the plea? Yes. Sir. Can I have parties approach? Yes, sir. All right. All right. I'm showing you uh, what's outside the agreement. The state is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of two years and there'd be 200 hours of community service restitution. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, ma'am. Then to the offenses charge, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? State any evidence? Your Honor, state all receipts is for one and all attachments. No objection. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, after reviewing exhibit states, I'm sorry, states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Um, we pray that the court follow the plea agreement. We would also ask the court, uh, she's following some hard uh, financial times, so we'd ask the court to consider probating a portion of the fine and uh, to can give some consideration to uh, possibly being able to get credit for some of our community service, VA employment and or education. All right, do you have any children? What are their ages? Ten. Just one? And is your child living with you? No. Where's your child staying? In Indiana. And who is your child staying with in Indiana? In this when you're drug tested today, what are the results gonna be? Um, negative. Have you ever used drugs? What? Um, I've used weed, um, narcotics, um, pain pills. When's the last time you used pain pills? Oh, it's been a couple of years. So why is your child with your with his father and not you? Because his father um lost his job. They got a um a child the best child custody lawyer. My house caught fire. Just here recently, and his dad just took up and left. He didn't have a job. That he lost a job. He couldn't have another work down here. He has more family at home, back home, so he took him and left. So when's the last time you saw your child? It's been over a year. Okay. So are you employed? No, ma'am. So how do you support yourself? Um, I stay with my boyfriend. And who is that? Um, Estelle and Rare. And what does he do for a living? He's a manager at an um, electric, electric, electrical company, Blue Country Electric. 
All right, this is what the court is gonna do. The court is gonna sentence you to two years deferred adjudication. I'm gonna want a UA today. Uh, I'm gonna want uh, a TAP evaluation. Follow the recommendations of TAP. If TAP says in, um, inpatient treatment, we're gonna start with outpatient treatment. You're gonna to have to get employed proof of employment within 30 days. And there's a lot of seasonal work going on now. So proof of employment within 30 days, no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. And the home you live with, is it just you and uh, your boyfriend? Um, his two sons. How old are they? They're in their 20s. Okay. 200 hours of community service restitution. 40 of those hours will be waived if you provide proof of the COVID vaccination. Court is not requiring you get the COVID vaccination, but if you do, 40 hours will be waived. I'm going to ask for parenting classes with Triple T. Once you complete that, the remaining of the community service hours will be waived. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person. I'm going to want field visits two times per month until further notice. And probation, if you want to count the field visits as uh, her reporting, you can. And we are going to do the UA hotline until further notice. And we'll start off with UAs once a week. And then if there are no issues, you can taper that down. Uh, probation, is there anything else you need? Is there anything else you need from the court? showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Good luck to you. You're welcome. Uh, who's here? On court is calling 2022 CR 10402. State of Texas versus Alicia Small. Could I have the parties announced for the record for the state? Okay, Wilkins for the state. Defense. Okay, for the defendant. And are you Ms. Small? Yes, ma'am. All right, did you review the document entitled Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilty and Revoke Community Supervision with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Are you the same Alicia Don Small who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2022 CR 10402 for the offense of evading arrest detention using a vehicle on December 15, 2022, for a period of two years. Is that you? Yes, ma'am. State? Violated condition number four from Bear County, Texas. The defendant, Alicia Dawn Small, did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of March, April, May 2023 in violation of condition number four. How do you plead to that, true or not true? True. State? Your Honor, we waive the other violations alleged in the motion. Any objection? No objection. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Yes, ma'am. Court will find violation of condition number four true. Is there a proposed agreement? There is, Your Honor. We're asking that you deny the motion and uh, extend the defendant's uh, deferral uh, for two years, uh, we ask that the defendant complete a jail tap uh, for SATIC followed by aftercare, that she do uh, bi-weekly drug, drug testing um, for 90 days and uh, wait, uh, she's to wait in custody for a bed, Your Honor. That's, and we're asking that you follow the uh, probation's recommendation, Your Honor. All right. Is that what you're asking? Yes, Your Honor, and um, that she be allowed to go and get this treatment. And then when she's completed the treatments, that the court, there's one extra piece to this that's not an agreement, but I want to raise it with the court. Um, her, She's from Indiana, and her child lives in Indiana, it's 12 years old, and she doesn't have family here. So when, when she arrives back from her drug treatment, uh, that she be permitted um, to go to live in Indiana. All right. You want to raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand, state your name for the record. Alicia Don Small. All right, when's the last time you were in your child's life? As I video chat with him every day, if I can, but um, his dad took him about four years ago. All right, so you haven't had 
Not physical contact, no. For four years? Ma'am. All right. And so why did his father take custody of him? He lost his job and he thought I was I would run for, run with my child like he did. At, that's not the case. We lost our house. He re, went with his sister and I had nobody. All right. So what's your drug of choice? Um, it was meth. But, All right. Yeah. So why were you not reporting? I was scared. Scared of what? Because I know him test positive. All right. So people always say was to their drug of choice, but they're still going through it. So I always tell people this, look, where we are now, hopefully it's not where no. we're going to end up. We're trying to improve. But in order to improve, you got to look in the mirror and be honest with yourself. You understand? Correct. So meth, what else? Addison. All right. Court will deny the motion. Alternate main conditions. And I'm going to extend. I think the recommendation was two years. Yeah. I'm going to extend for three years. There's going to be a referral to felony drug court. That's going to be in custody. There's going to be a tap evaluation in custody. And if you're not accepted to felony drug court, you're going to follow all the recommendations of um, the tap. And if you are accepted in felony drug courts, you're not leaving Bear County until you complete that program here. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Is there anything else? No, uh, but the option for her to eventually move is still available to her? No, not until she completes felony drug court. Okay. And that's a two-year program. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? I don't know. All right. We can go off the record. Here's the thing. Once you have your life in order, I'm sure that maybe the father of your child will let you have in-person visitation. And I'm sure if you're doing well, felony drug court will allow you to have visitation and come back. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you.